Up until now, we've been using a hard-coded array of blog posts. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to go get them from an RSS feed or an Atom feed. First step is to remove this uh, fill of the hard-coded data in the home before create route. And we'll just call a function to go get that blog data. And then we'll create that here. And we're going to just use jQuery uh, to get that the blog data. So that's dollar get. We put our feed there, and then we have a function that gets called with the response data. Now inside this function, uh, we won't have access to this. So before I call it, I'll just capture this in a variable called app that we can use inside of the response to the get. The next step is to set the blog data variable given the response from the get. In our case, we're going to be using an RSS feed. The feed data will be passed to the data argument to our function. It will be automatically parsed into a DOM by jQuery. So all we need to do is take the data, find the item elements in the atom feed, and we're gonna that will be an array of jQuery objects. We're gonna map that to another array. So map takes a function that will take the index and the item that's found and we have to respond back with what we would like to be in the array instead. So that we're going to respond back with one of these post objects. So that has title and body. So title is the items title element. And we need only the text from the element. So what's in between the title tags. And body would be the description element. Now this returns back a jQuery array and we need that to be a regular JavaScript array. So we just call it to array on that. So I copied these template lines so that we could fill in our template. Now, now that we're doing it asynchronously, we have to do it slightly differently. I'll, I'll go back into index.html. You see that we are templating in just the li elements into these ul elements. But when we do it asynchronously, we need that the ul and the li's to come in at the same time. So I'm going to change the template to do that. And now instead of targeting the blog list element, we're going to have to target the home content element. So I'll go back here and we just update these lines so that the template updates the home content element. And here we go. So what happens is in home before create route, get blog data is called. That makes an asynchronous call to get the feed. We'll fill in that feed in a second. When that responds back, it responds back with the data. We use jQuery to find the item elements in that XML. And then within those item elements, we find each for each one, we find the title and description elements and create a new object with title and body in it and map constructs those into a jQuery array, and then we return that into a regular array, and then we pass that into the template using our captured this object, which is set to the app variable. 
So I have to use app here and here. And we enhance within. So let's get our feed. I'm going to be using the Apple Mats new video feed. So this URL is an RSS feed, which is why we use item, title, and description. If you're using an Atom feed, an ATOM feed, you'd look up what the XML specification for that would be and target the XML items accordingly. Let's serve that up. And now we have all the latest videos with the text from there. So there's one caveat. When we're testing inside of a browser, we have to respect the browser's cross-domain settings. So in a browser, you can only AJAX back to the server that served the page. And you see here that we're using the Cordova localhost server but I'm getting, making an Ajax call to appomat.com. The only reason that works is because on the appomat.com site, for this video feed, I'm responding back a special header on appomat.com for the video feed that allows a cross-domain fetch, allows the browser to make a cross-domain fetch. So to do that, you have to have, be able to control your server and I'll show you, I'll do a curl line so I can show you how it's responding. So this is curl, dump the headers, discard the output and get the video feed. So you can just see the header. And the important thing here is this header, access control allow origin star. That allows this get to be initiated inside of a browser serving a page from 127.001 but getting a page from this video feed. Uh, if you are running this inside of any of the emulators, then it's controlled by this line, which is automatically put into our config.xml, and you don't need to worry about that, but if you're gonna to wanna to test it from your browser, then you're gonna to need to do this.